Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Jaquetta, CTO and co-founder of Innovation. I'm really excited today to have a session about intercom and communications with uh, one of our uh, new vendors, Intracom. Uh, as I'm sure you all know, uh, a TV production, a show, an event, or your command and control will fall apart if you lose comms. If you can't communicate with your people, your camera operators, your producers, your directors, or in a government environment, your command, your control, et cetera, everything falls apart. So today I have uh, an old friend of mine, Vitas Urbonis. He's director of business development at Intracom. Uh, he's joined by Drake, uh, Jake Strasberg, uh, uh, their lead tech, and hopefully Stephen uh, Brand, the CEO of Intracom, will join us later in, in the session. So, so Vitas, welcome. Welcome to the uh, Vitovation uh, Wednesday webinars, as we call them. Thanks, Jim. I really appreciate you uh, giving me the time to come on and talk a little bit about how to take your comms to the cloud. As you mentioned, communication is critical in the production environment, and intercoms are arguably the most essential element in the production workflow. Uh, but let's go to the basics. I mean, in the past, traditional intercoms relied on costly proprietary rack-mounted hardware with bulky RF belt packs. It's obvious that in today's facility, racks are steadily disappearing. More and more systems are moving to the cloud and IP. I mean, just think about your own media consumption. Are, are you still watching movies on VHS or, or DVDs or cassette players or CD players? Likely not. Dedicated hardware just no longer makes sense. Software can now do everything that hardware could with expanded functionality and flexibility. Intracom itself was launched in 2006 with VCOM, the very first totally IP software-based intercom solution. And since that time, we've continually refined and updated the platform. And it's interesting to note that lately we've seen a few other players come, come around and try to get in the market uh, and play catch up with their own virtual intercom platforms. But intercom's software is exceptionally well-proven, being used in most major US broadcast facilities and in a number of other mission critical applications that include government, aerospace, and that includes NASA, I think we can actually mention them, uh, defense, gaming, financial services, and power utilities, to name a few. So, so Vetus, uh, uh, well, well Vetus's nickname is V. So V, what, what, is, uh, what are some of the advantages of, of the, uh, having a virtual matrix? Why, why do we need that? Why is that a benefit? Well, customers are looking for a cost-effective, flexible, and scalable intercom solution. And cost is a major factor, and, and software is reasonably priced. And if you wanted to go with the SaaS option, you can avoid CapEx by licensing the software and operating entirely in the cloud. And you don't have to go in all at once. That is another advantage. I mean, you can create a hybrid solution. VCOM is highly interoperable with existing intercoms and systems via SIP, Borewire, Dante, NDI Audio, and it interfaces uh, with existing telephony systems. And since VCOM works on both Android and iOS devices, uh, all manner of off-the-shelf headsets and accessories are readily available. Very cool. So how does this all improve uh, your comms and your inner, your communications, you know, between the control room, remote studios, people in the field, uh, people working at home? Um, you know, there's at-home production where you're working remotely, you know, you're sending things to your, your home master control. But now I, I like to use the word home home. Home is your house now in, in, in a lot of cases. So how does that help tie everything how, how do you guys tie that all together yeah that's it's a really common application these days uh, you know people are working from a couch as much as uh, they are from their desk in in the studio traditional comms are are stuck on prem and can't be accessed remotely you're just anchored right there but vcom can interop with existing equipment and make the audio accessible anywhere in the world 
via our control panel on any smartphone or computer. Or you can connect SIP lines to dial in if, if that's preferred. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you can bring your own hardware, you know, bring your own device. That That's the cool part about it. it, it it's uh, uh, you just need the software, basically. That's, that's so it. cool. That's it. So so how how uh, maybe give us some examples or what are the top ways you've helped uh, uh, broadcasters, sports leagues, news networks produce some of their live content? How how has uh, 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 um Intracom and the VCOM system helped? Well, VCOM can be hosted in the cloud and accessed by stations or users at home, regardless of their geographic location. VCOM's video capabilities are ideal for in the field news gathering, monitoring program feeds, and video chats. In fact, one of our broadcast customers mentioned that during COVID, they relied on Intracom's cloud platform to stay on the air, flawlessly keeping thousands of users with over 10,000 channels connected. We've also wow. been used in the world's greatest sporting events and extensively in election coverage. So you, you guys are able to keep 10,000 channels uh, 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 active. Wow, that's amazing. And, and because it's virtual, right? That's why you know we were talking about this yesterday it's almost virtually infinitely scalable, right? You can you can make the uh, the system as small as you like or as big as you like, right? It, the the, the no sky one's is been no one's been able to reach the the edge. I don't think we've we've had any uh, limitations uh, come upon so far. That's really cool. That's really cool. So so how does this help us uh, 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 operate or 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 streamline you know our technical coordination you know when we're uh, dis the distribution of uh, uh, broadcast content I I'll give you an example uh, someone uh, one of our customers a production company will approach us yes they need an intercom system but they also need IFB they they also want to move program audio through the intercom system that's a little unorthodox you know you you know you have your your video and your your program video, your program audio workflow, uh, but there in a production there's never enough capacity for audio. I need, you know, it's 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 ten to one, uh, fifteen to one for every video. There's ten, fifteen, twenty audio. So you guys address some of those uh, uh, challenges. Yeah, that's really kind of the heart of the system. The, the fact that we support point to points groups party lines, IFB, and we're able to enhance coordination of even the largest of teams. Very cool. So, you know, not every customer is going to be a clean slate. Actually, probably most customers have some sort of existing comms, right? Yeah. Um, from, from a numerous brand. So I, I'm a customer and I have an old analog comm system uh how do we migrate our our old com into into the new uh intracom vcom system what what's the uh what's the the transition there the workflow there it's probably simpler than than you think because we offer the same functionality as analog comms systems and vcom uh, takes only a few minutes to install on the server and that can be housed on prem or in the cloud and analog key panels can be replaced by our virtual key panel solution, which runs on any smartphone, tablet, or computer. And we can interop with existing analog comms with a simple four-wire interface for a really smooth transition. And if you prefer to use a traditional form factor, we also offer a physical control panel that you can utilize. Very cool. But rather than me just talking about it, Jim, how about we bring in Jake Strasberg, the uh, intercoms tech leader to show you some of the functions of the, the control panel and sure. kind of dive into it and show you just how it works. Yeah, let me uh, stop. If I stop sharing, I believe Jake should be able to take control. Okay, let me let me see. There he is. There we go. This is working, right? Yep, we see it. Okay, uh, so this is the VCOM control panel. And each of these um, little buttons here are a different audio channel. So for example, you can have NDI audio or TSP. This is a party line 
and this white border that's flashing is voice activity on that party line. And you could have fixed groups. Here's a Dante channel. Um, and, and then these are just point to point users. And a, so a user can have either a talk or a listen. Uh, they could have just a talk or they can have just a listen. So we're very flexible for whatever uh, type of setup the uh, situation calls for. And the control panel is set up per user, right? So um, the producer might have a completely different control panel than the rest of the operators on the team. And we also do video. So here's an example of a video feed playing in a second here. Um, so you can tie in your program feeds and monitor them as well as your comms on the same interface. And if I were to hit, uh, so this is what you would just press the listen to listen in on a channel. You press the talk to talk and you can have multiple of these going on at the same time, right? So you can listen to as many channels as you need or talk on as many channels as you need at a time. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So we, we, key we point that, that Jake yeah, brought up was that you can put as many of these users up there, but you can control the functionality of each one through through the uh, system admin window. Yeah, that's right. So each each panel is completely uh, customizable uh, and different from the next if you need it to be. So you can you know have a completely different set of uh, selectors on the screen uh, depending on the use case. Yeah, we were talking yesterday too that um guess every production is different. Um um we've done some live reality shows. So uh in an example, maybe the producer needs to hear uh what the director is doing, you know, loud, you know, at a higher volume, but then uh the camera ops in the field, if somebody is screaming for help or there there's some uh, so they might want to mix uh, different party lines together. Um, we can do that. I see there's a little volume control button. So if I'm if I'm listening to a channel, I can I can kind of mix the the comms. Or if we're using it for IFB, I can mix the IFB. Right? You know, my director is way too loud in my ear. I want to lower him. He's screaming at me. So you can you can you can control that. Or you can lock it where they can't turn it off. Like so, the talent has to listen to the director. Is that you? You have those kinds of controls? Yeah, that's exactly correct. Yeah. So these these blue bars are each individual volume sliders uh, under each of these channels. And if you have um, someone talent set up as like an IFB, for example, then yeah, they'll they'll be forced to listen to the audio um, as needed. Well, that's cool. That's cool. And then you you were telling me um, uh, 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 yesterday in our in our, our pre pre webinar meeting that um, you know you obviously the director can have authority to barge in, but you could prevent a camera operator from being able to barge in. You know, in other words, if the director is already talking to someone else, uh, camera one, he, camera two can't barge in. But the the cam the director can can barge in, and you set those parameters in the background. Like, elaborate on that. Some of those those back end uh, features. Yeah, that's right. So, um, so on this panel, like for example, this user one has a talk. So when I hit this talk, the user one is uh, going to hear my audio. You know, guaranteed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or non blocking intercom, so they don't mm -hmm. have to click anything to start hearing me. Uh, but say, for example, if um, you didn't want me to have that ability, you could just set up the panel to only have the listen key, right? So this user, for example, I have no ability to talk to them. I could only listen in on their channel um, and just essentially wait for them to start talking to me. That's how that works. So, so yeah, each each of these buttons, I mean, the, the capabilities are endless. You can, you can uh, give as much control or as little control as you'd like. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, and, and because this is software, right, we can spin up, spin down. Uh, a, a lot of our customers 
they're like, well, I don't want an intercom system indefinitely. You, you know, I, I do uh, six events a year. And as you guys know, in sports, it's seasonal, right? So I do six events. It's from, from you know, summertime. Um, um, do I have to sign a long-term contract to get this or, or, uh, can I, can I, can I spin something up for a week? Uh, can I spin it up for three months? What's well, we uh, set it up, Jim, we, we set it up by the month. So if you want to do, if you've got an event coming up, you, uh, you would simply, uh, do the SAS option where you sign up at least a minimum of 10 users to, uh, to be on the system and, it's all by the month, so you don't have to commit to a full year or anything like that. Uh, okay. Make it as simple as possible for, and as flexible as possible. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, the the you know in, in our in Vitovations business, um, you know, if you're in the uh, bonded cellular transport business, ninety uh, percent of the time the product's rented. You know, it's it's a rental. You know. Uh, an OPEX model versus CAPEX. Uh, if someone wanted to sign a long-term contract, I'm sure you you would you would uh, uh, do that as well. Yeah, well, they've got the option. They can either uh, go on a monthly or they can buy the software outright and then they own it. I mean, that becomes common more in, uh, in kind of a closed environment. The government, they don't, they don't want to be on the cloud. In fact, they're not allowed to be on the cloud so they buy the software, they install it on their own servers, and it's a closed loop system. There's no access to to the public uh, internet. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, so during uh, you know once the lockdown started, right? Uh, everyone was scrambling, you know, to work from the cloud. Um, there were some. Um, um, there, there, there was a. There's another um, IP based um systems that are out there um low cost but they're kind of a science project you know you need to use a consumer mac uh computer it's not a server it's not enterprise it's kind of, i guess my I, I describe it as it's a bit of a science experiment when it comes to comms you guys have been doing this since 2006 you were the first to do ip you can use Android uh, or iOS devices, tablets, uh, basically anything with a browser, right? You can, you, right? That that's that that's the common. That you don't need an app; it just needs to. You need to have something that has an active browser, right? That that that's all you need. Well, well as we long do, as you can download the software. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say we we do have apps for every major platform, or okay. alternatively, you can also access the control panel from the browser if you don't want to download. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, this is also training for me. You know, I'm, I'm new to, to Intracom. So, so, but you have the choice, but uh, obviously a native app for the device is going to uh, work, work better, have a tighter, tighter Correct. integration. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and then, you know, the, these other solutions I, 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 I mentioned are, are attractive because they're low cost, but Intracom, you guys are very affordable. You know, you just, you just need to buy the, the 10 licenses and you know we won't mention pricing on a webinar you can i put a link in the in the uh in the chat to everyone you you can book a call uh with the vitovation uh, biz dev team to to learn more but it's not that expensive you know you you get your 10 licenses and that's 10 endpoints you know so that's 10 tablets 10 android 10 uh, uh iPhones um, and it, this is an enterprise solution. It, it's not a science experiment, right? Yeah, I don't it, think NASA would be using this if we were we were at that level. Correct, correct. So, so uh, 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 just because it's enterprise doesn't necessarily mean it's 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 ex, it's exp, it doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, then another cool thing too is like, you know, you you guys were telling me, Vitas, you were telling me that. Um, you know, with, with customers, we, it, it's a transition, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, I, someone has a clear com and RTS system, uh, this can operate alongside or in parallel, or it could replace the whole system that, that you could bridge the, 
the the comms that are already present on the studio side with vcom if we're using vcom in the field right the two systems can coexist absolutely absolutely that's part of the flexibility that's built into the system and it's it's not uncommon that we operate that way if someone's doing a whole new studio they may want to they very well may want to replace all the racks right uh, and, and just go with the software based solution right right and then i i love the idea it's like it, it's it's you bring your own hardware so i'll use my own computer my own tablet my own iphone uh but you know, in the control room, I'm a technical director. I probably don't want my comms on my phone uh, or on a computer. I may want, you know, more of, lack of a better term, old school, you know, push buttons. I need to talk to the director or listen to the director and, you know, have a gooseneck. You guys have certified hardware, you know, hardware that's certified with your software available. T tell us more about that. Yeah, we have a control panel that's the you know that has the functionality and and uh, familiarity with with your traditional control panel. It's it's a touch screen uh, unit. It's made in in the U.S. Uh, and you know, it's got a gooseneck. It's got speaker. I mean, it's got everything you need. It's ready to go. And we can also provide you with a server if you if you don't have one. We'll pre-configure it with the the VCOM software built into it if you wanted it to go that way. I mean. There's, there's a number of options and we can help support whatever your needs are. Um, and at this point, I would encourage people to uh, go ahead and, and reach out to the uh, Vitovation sales team with additional questions. And, and if they're really interested, I mean, if you want to go to the VCOM uh, software demo, you can go to intracomsystems.com and log in and click on the demo and follow the instructions if you want to kind of play around with it. But beyond that, if you're really serious about checking out the system, uh, Vitovation can coordinate getting a 30-day license for people to check out in their own facility and really find out just how easy it is to take your comms to the cloud. Yeah, and then and then there there's uh, we don't have to ship any hardware, right? They can try it out on on their iPhones and and uh, or, or Android. Uh, uh, that's very generous of you guys to offer a 30 day. Well, I I, I think there's uh, there's a uh, um, there's a reason for that, right? 30 days they're going to fall in love with it, and not want to not want to disconnect or 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 delete it, right? They're going to. Well, it gives um, you a full. It gives you a chance to take the uh, the unit out for a real test drive and and see just how it really works in your real world environment, not just yeah. kind of play with it a little bit on on our website. But that's very cool. But yeah, very that's cool. the hope that that they'll won't be able to live without it afterwards. Well, well, uh, uh, Vitas, uh, 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 Jake, uh, thank you guys so much. I'm sure most of the listeners know, well, hopefully you know who Vitovation is, uh, um, but just a quick, quick overview. I mean, Vitovation, we're a systems integrator, reseller. Uh, we offer consulting services, design and engineering, uh, systems integration, project management. We we wrap uh, everything that we integrate into a you know warranty and support contract. And we represent great brands like, like Intracom, great people and great brands. So, uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Um, you know, I think I asked so many questions. Maybe I, 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 uh, <laughs> I, I hogged all the, all the Q and A. Um, if any of you folks have, uh, any questions, please, um, uh, put, uh, put, put anything you, in, in the chat, uh, to, you know, Vitovation's contact information is here. Our, our main phone number is, uh, 949-777-5435. Uh, you see my uh, personal information, Jim J at vitivation.com. You can reach out to me. Uh, if you're on social media, you may have bumped into me on two occasions. Uh, uh, I, I know Vetus, you're you're active on on social. Um, um, not as so, much as you, Jim. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's not too much. Uh, so please reach out to us. We'd love to 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 talk about your your intercom, but it's not just. The intercom, the IFB, you know, for program audio, I I see this as an important tool to use alongside some of our other vendors, some of the video transport, 
you know, uh, video transport, one video might have four or eight audios to go with it. A lot of times eight is not enough. So uh, the comms add more program audio. I really see uh, uh, a strong uh, uh, synergy there. Well, thanks again, uh, Jake and, and Vitas. Uh, uh, really enjoy working with you guys. And all you folks out there, don't be shy. Um, in about a week, we, uh, we transcribe the session, uh, edit the video, put that up on our website, put the video on YouTube. Uh, the audio I will uh, put on our uh, podcast channel. Uh, podcast is ideas in video communication. So look, either uh, search the word vidovation or ideas in video communications, uh, and you'll find uh, our podcast or my name, Jim Jaquette. I think it'll pop up as well. So thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and thank you for joining. Take care. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for letting us join you.